Hi, I'm Dave Linus. I'm president of Linus Welding Training out of Fargo and Bismarck, North Dakota. And today I'm going to show you how to prep a 6 inch Schedule 40 pipe, how to tack it up, and how to weld it in the 1G position. Okay, now that we have our root pass in, I'm going to put all my safety gear back on and I'm going to grind out that root pass. I'll show you um, again before and after as far as what we have to work with here. You'll see a couple of high spots in here right now. And that's where I didn't take the time, I didn't bother grinding that out, uh, running that road pass, but we're going to take it smooth everything out now and remove all the slag. Okay? Now you can see what it looks like after I ground out the root pass. So again, I used the eighth inch grinding wheel. Just got right in there, ground out all the slag, and then I would angle my grinder every once in a while just to clean the bevels out too. I don't want to see any slag in there. And now on the uh, hot pass and fill pass, we're going to use the uh, 332 7018X caliber rod. My technique is going to be a U and I want to bring it up the sides I'm not going to go over the bevel but I'm going to fill it to where it's just under flush maybe a sixteenth of an inch under flush if you do not fill it enough that slag is going to be tough to break out of there uh, some welders I know will go side to side some will do a Z uh, other welders will have different techniques I've just found this is what works for me Again, you'll see me just making a U with it, pushing up the, the sides of the pipe here, okay? Light up my electrode down on the side, and I'm going to make that U technique going through, changing my rod angle as I go up, okay? Here we go. Okay, once that slag cools down, it'll chip right off. You'll see that I've grown some teeth in this file here. You can also use a, a chipping hammer or even a, a piece of an old uh, bandsaw blade, but 
I want to show you that the, uh, once, again, once the flux cools, it should chip right off. As long as you're going slow enough on that hot pass, let it fill, fill in where you just can feel the edge of the pipe, that slag will chip right off. If you don't let it fill in enough, you're going to have a hard time getting the slag out of the edges there.